Yanni Wetzel has been a star for the San Diego State basketball team all year long. The transfer from Vanderbilt joins us here on the SDCCU Fan Hotline. Yanni, thanks so much for coming on the show. How are you today? Hey, guys. Thanks for having me. I'm doing well, thanks. Uh, I asked you about the New Mexico game. It seemed to me they were throwing a few more double teams than you've uh, seen so far this year. Was that the case the other night? Did you have to make some adjustments? Yeah, yeah. They kind of had a passive um, double where they had a guy sitting uh, in the paint under the basket and just waiting for me to dribble. So um, I had to kind of draw the um, the double and then pass the ball out of that. But um, I, I unfortunately turned it over a couple times, but once I started getting used to that double, I um, started finding some guys on cuts and that. Yeah, and I want to take you back to, you know, when you were making the decision uh, to, to transfer out of Vanderbilt. Um, what what – what put San Diego State at the top of that list for you? Um, you know, I the first day I was in the transfer portal, Coach Dutch reached out, so we created a relationship from day one. Um, he came out to visit me himself. He didn't send an assistant coach, so um, I knew there was a lot of interest um, off the bat. So we um, met in Nashville, and then I decided that I was going to take two visits, and San Diego State was one of them, um, the other being Texas Tech. And, when I came on my visit to San Diego State, um, I just loved the whole situation here. Um, there was a great opportunity to play. Um, and then, obviously, I fell in love with the program and the way Coach Dutch runs everything. Um, created a great relationship with Dave and a couple of the other assistants. And um, I played some three-on-three with Malachi and Nate and just thought there were some great pieces and we had a great opportunity to be um, an awesome team this year. So uh, that was kind of – a bunch of things kind of went into that decision, but – uh, I'm stoked I made that, yeah. made the right decision. We are too. I was going to say, man, you got to be a, not only a great athlete, but maybe a financial planner one day if you can predict stuff like this so well. Because there's really nobody could have predicted 25-0. and 0. No. And I just wonder how you guys are able to keep the focus night after night after night and go out there. And it doesn't seem like you're you're playing – scared of your record necessarily like you guys just seem to play every possession one at a time let the game take care of itself and that has worked for you absolutely yeah we try to play as loose as possible at all times and and even when we're up and we know we're up 10 or 8 or just just by a small margin we got to keep playing loose we can't tighten up because we know um, with experienced guys we know we've been in situations where um, if we do play tight, we give the op- opposing team a chance to kind of fight their way back into the into the game. So that's how we come and approach every game, and we play loose and we play like there's no pressure on us at all. How, how have you guys been able to to overwhelm your opponents the way we've seen? Because as I was talking to to my partner Chris before you came on, you guys, no matter what happens in the first half, whether you get off to a 17-0 run or or, or the game is close, or even if you guys are down a few times, you have. You guys tend to overwhelm teams in that second half. Talk a little bit about the second half adjustments you guys seem to make week in and week out. Yeah, yeah. Well, initially we try to, to separate ourselves on the defensive end, but um, the last few games we have been quite close at halftime. So um, Coach Dutch and the assistants put us in great positions during the halftime. They, we make some adjustments, whether it's full screen uh, coverage or um, the way we defend a, a certain individual. Um, and we all kind of adjust to it. We got some guys that have been in the system a while, so um, we can make those adjustments with ease. And um, it's just a matter of really the coaches putting us in great positions and us executing it on the floor. Yanni Wetzel is with us from the uh, number four ranked uh, San Diego State men's basketball team, undefeated and uh, taking the city by storm. Uh, by the way, for those of you who might have missed it last week, or look it up, Google it, whatever you have to do, but find Mark Ziegler's story in the UT last week about Yanni Wetzel and his parents. Just a tremendous story and uh, hilarious and fun to read. And uh, I think most people know by now you were a tennis player and then didn't play basketball until the age of 17. Now, you had a really good prediction leaving Vanderbilt and coming to San Diego State. What made you decide to play basketball? Because I think that was a pretty good choice as it's turning out, too. Um, I think the whole world knows I used to be a tennis player now. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um... But, uh, yeah, was, was your question about transferring from Vanderbilt? or just No, I'm sorry, just why you decided to play basketball, why you decided to take okay. it up. Yeah, um, well, I grew – a big reason was I grew about six inches in my senior year. Ah, that'll uh, do it. The summer, <laughs> between, the summer between my junior and senior year of high school. Um, so I, I started dabbling in a bit of a social basketball and then 
obviously with the height that helped and the athleticism was already there from tennis, including the footwork and that. So um, I was playing pretty well on my social league team and decided to try out for the high school team and ended up making the top side. And um, basketball started to creep in a bit more and tennis started to take a back seat. So um, I eventually made the, the junior national team and I decided why not go for this, you know, I'm preferring putting an extra word for basketball instead of tennis. So mm. um, just followed my heart in that one. And, uh, yeah, it turned out pretty well. I'd say so. I would say so. Congratulations, first of all, so by winning the Mountain West Conference regular season championship. What Thank other you. goals do you guys still have or do you talk about at this point at the 25-0 and 0 mark? Yeah, we don't we don't talk too much about the um, – the end, end goal, which we desire, you know, in the back of our minds, we want to win a national championship, of course, and, and we don't want to drop a game. But uh, right now we're focusing on staying undefeated in this conference season. And, and once we um, achieve that, which is our next goal, um, we'll fo- start focusing on the conference championship. And then after that, we'll move on to March Madness. But um, we don't talk too much about the national championship and March Madness right now, but um, we all have our own goals in the back of our head so um, that's definitely there but for the meantime um, it's just staying undefeated okay that's good sounds with us. good with me hey two san diego state guys here yanni we've loved watching you play this year uh thanks for the time thanks for all the excitement this year and good luck the rest of the way thanks yanni absolutely thanks for having me guys you betcha there he is yanni wetzel from the uh, san diego state fourth ranked basketball team in the nation